By the time they got, what is it, 1951, a painting called Animal and Mineral, an amazing painting. Uh, the style was there. His style was so individual, and not only in an attempt, I think, to be unlike his father, but the necessity of developing an individuality of style, uh, one recognizes his work completely. The use of symbolism, American Indian symbolism. And toward the end of his career, these amazing, amazing land seascapes. In America, Jimmy's art absorbed the numerous influences of his adopted country. In 1950, he joins the Irascible 18, along with such noted artists as Jackson Pollock, William de Kooning, Robert Motherwell, and Mark Rothko, to protest the Metropolitan Museum of Art's provincial attitude toward abstract art. There was hardly a gallery in New York that showed American art. There were some. And uh, there was not much attention was pay paid to them. To be an American painter, really, American artist, really meant uh, you had to somehow make a living doing anything else but self. 